Hello there, and of course, welcome back, my friends, to the show uh, that never ends. And with the disturbing news that comedian Dave Chappelle has had a show cancelled with hours to go in, um, is it Minneapolis? I think that's in America, isn't it? It's got to be in America. Uh, he was cancelled by a minority group uh, that decided that they were going to protest against him outside the sold-out theatre. It had sold out in five minutes. And this group are uh, trans-supporting people, and uh, predominantly white, I am told, and they, they've got a black man cancelled uh, from a theatre. And, of course, the theatre said, we're ever so sorry. We took our eye off the ball. We didn't realise he was all this and that. What a load of old crap. And he'll now be appearing in a theatre across the road. I can imagine the conversation. Uh, hey, Arnold? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's us here at the theatre, yeah. Uh, how's your theatre going? Oh, we ain't doing very much good business. How would you like Dave Chappelle? Because we got to cancel him. Because uh, people are going to protest. Bring him over here. We don't give a shit. We got machine guns. This is the thing I've been watching about America. It's a strange old place, isn't it? Eh? I don't know why they're bothering sending all those missiles and all those arms over to Ukraine. I think they'd be better off and better fed uh, taking those missiles and guns and God knows what and giving them to high school teachers. That will stop it. Didn't Trump say that? It's about time some bullets started going back the other way. Where will it end? Ban the guns. Someone said... If someone could run into a school with a cricket bat and beat children to death with it. And then this man who was uh, talking about it, he said, really clever thing. Yes, but then he could not have turned the bat on himself. What's that all about? Anyway, um, so with Dave Chappelle being cancelled, have a look at this here. Look, this is, this is the back of uh, the brochure that I'll be doing on tour. Uh, it's, it's a free brochure to give away. Do you remember you used to have programs and you went to the theatre? They stopped doing them. Well, I've started doing them again. And uh, there's some great bits in it. There he is, old Jeffro. Look, God, don't we miss him? Well, he's on uh, Ustream and he's going to be heavily featured on Ustream. It's interesting, though, because he's got me in trouble, even from the grave. We had some posters done, you know, that you put up around, you know, like football grounds, them big bannery type things. And we put one up saying... There's a picture of me and Jethro and, uh, and the great Freddy Starr. And, and the billboard said, uh, no wokes, no snowflakes, no problem. And guess what happened? MDL Marinas, where I parked my boat, who are a fantastic bunch, but they've had a, an attack of the wokeness. They couldn't quite see the irony. They said, we can't put these boards up because the word woke offends people. What? <laughs> so they are woke, protecting the woke. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. So we had to change the boards, of which they, they actually, to be fair on them, they chipped in a few quid as well to get them all up. So they're, they're back up now. And talking of being cancelled, I'm at the Winter Gardens Theatre tonight. I'm not cancelled, but the theatre is. Unfortunately, some people in their right mind have decided to close that old venue that's been there since Fred Flintstone was a teenager. And people of Margate love it. Everyone used to go down to Margate in the old charabang in the coaches and have a good time and have a good old knees up in the winter gardens and that now seems its future is in doubt but i've got a meeting tonight with some people down there and i'll give them my two penneth in the meantime i'll be on stage tonight at 7 30 and then i'll introduce miles crawford who's going to give us a little bit of his african culture and then uh, i'll be doing an hour and a bit in the second half and we'll all have a fabulous uh, good time right okay folks i'm going to nip off to Ustream in a second to talk about the, the couple of things we've got two people left in the running we've got rishi dishy rishi and we've got Liz Truss. Truss. Liz Truss for PM. So, so she will be called Prime Minister Truss, which the abbreviations will be PMT. Now, that's not a good prospect, but don't worry. Well, she won't be PMT for long because she's of an age where she's going to be menopausal running the country. I know this is a sexist, terrible thing to say, but I'm living with menopause. I've got woman a pause. Look at me, a hot flush. It's everything's going on. Let's talk about these on Ustream in a minute. So listen, you lot. See if you can get yourself down to Margate tonight. It's the last time you'll ever see me in that fantastic venue. Well, the last time for a long while, unless someone pulls a rabbit out of a hat. And then tomorrow I'm at Babacombe, beautiful little theatre on the cliff. That's going to be great. Thank God it's a bit cooler now. The last time I did it, I could actually feel my knackers swimming around in me gusset while I was telling jokes. Anyway, enough of these pleasantries. I will... Oh, oh, oh. I watched this morning, I get up really early, and I watched this morning, because I forgot I did it, because I was pissed. 
uh, left, right and centre. This is the one where the girl comedian turned up, took one look at everyone and promptly fucked off. So I'm at the bar getting me like 12th large scotch down me. I took it easy because I had to drive back. And they said, Jim, get your suit on, you're on. What? The girl's buggered off, you're on. And I watched it this morning, pissed myself. And, and I know some of you uh, out there are not members of Ustream. Uh, we want one of them dun dun duns again, Jake. Some of you people are not members of Ustream. So here's a little tidbit for you. And don't forget, on the 24th, which is Sunday? Sunday. Boobs in the wood in its entirety. And unfortunately, you won't be able to see it on YouTube anymore because when I approached Universal about doing my stuff, they said, uh, OK. I said, well, it's all over. I made the mistake of telling them it's on YouTube and because they own the copyright to it all. And now I own the copyright to it as well. And, uh, and it's been removed from uh, YouTube. A lot of the stuff's been removed from YouTube uh, of mine by, uh, because people don't have the copyright. Wouldn't be, I wouldn't tell them to do that, but YouTube have these rules and that's what's happening. So it, lucky you can see it on Ustream. And before you start moaning, it's nothing to do with me because the copyright is with Universal Pictures. Dun, dun, dun. Right, turn the page. That fake in the orgasm, men can't do that unless you spit on a back or something. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all right. You know, oh. the, in, in porn, you know, I'll tell you this, I'll tell you this. I've got a story about that. I've got a story about that. <laughs> I, was, I, was chat, I was chatting to a porn director and I said to him... What, was this during I filming? I can't wait to yeah. hear what he's going to say. <laughs> no, I said this, I said, I said, how does it work for the money shot? And he said, apparently the guy like can't, I don't know the nice way to say it, can't jizz or whatever, right? In the... <laughs> <laughs> you picked the best word out of them all, mate, to be honest. Can, can I just check, is that the medical term? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Can't like go, oh yeah. Anyway, right, so, they can't do it like more than like, a, you know, one or twice a day, but they're having like about eight films a day. So what they use is soap water. So like he's going, he's doing his face and then they cut to the woman going, oh, give it to me, baby. And then he, oh, and they squirt soap. And that is a fake orgasm. Is that what it there is in the porn films where it's so You learned water. it here. This poor woman sitting there like a plasterer's radio. <laughs> 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 but at least her face is actually cleaner because yeah. it's soap. Then after she can have a good wash, can't she? That'd yeah. be, where do you find these women? I know it's to be rude, but where are these women that do these porn films? Where the fuck are they? They walk around in Lidl's or something like that? They're real bad. Oh, come on, baby, give it to me in my face. I'm like, come on, come on, fucking get out of here. That's not real life, is it? Imagine well, that if you're married. That goes on my fucking nighty there. <laughs> 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 Yeah, give it to me, baby. It can't be real on them porn films. There yeah. can't be balls that big, not even yours can produce <laughs> that amount of fucking. There must be like a tube going down a quarry out past the drivers, round your Harris, into the prop man with a bucket full of watered down fucking <laughs> vanilla yogurt and action stirrup pump. <laughs> oh, come on, baby. That's why I don't watch it. I'm 60 years of age now. I get a puff of dust. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm jealous as fuck. You have to come in with a vacuum yeah, cleaner. Yeah. I used to be able to hit the wall and now it rolls down the stem like a melting candle. That's it. <laughs> oh, at least, no, it gets worse. It gets worse. If I, I actually <laughs> melt one of them. just got to go. No, this way. Do you want to come on my tit? I'll never <laughs> fucking reach them, love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Lie on the floor. I'll try and drip a bit on you. <laughs> oh, the superpower. Oh, <laughs> 